Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with our second personal break of the evening and do have one hobby box here of 2021 Leaf Metal Pop Century. This here is for Ricky D from Oregon. So thank you so much, Ricky, for letting me open up this box for you. Hope to find you some awesome cards to add to your collection. Each hobby box here of 2021 Pop Century does have four cards, typically three autographs and one memorabilia card. So I'm curious to see what we're going to be finding here this evening. Very excited to go ahead and get on into it. It's actually our case draft that we did of Pop Century a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I think two weeks ago now, did actually finish up earlier this week with the 48th pick, and that was a lot of fun. Seen a lot of cool cards come out of Pop Century, so very excited to see what we find here for Ricky. Let's go ahead and jump on into this box here by snapping us into the corner. And this will be a very quick opening. Like I said, just four cards per box. So let's go ahead and see what we will find. Now we've opened up a good amount. I think three total cases of Pop Century, three and a half, we're down to the last few boxes of case four. Have not found any Amelia Clark, so that would be a nice find here for Ricky. But just excited to go ahead and see what we'll find. So of course, the first card on top is always spoiled. We'll try and keep the others from sneaking out. So looks like I did an all right job. And we do have a couple of thicker top loaders. So curious if we'll be finding like a relic and a cut signature. I'm excited to see what we'll find. There's some cool options in the cut autographs, Natalie Portman and Taylor Swift, both of which we haven't seen, so those would be neat. We are starting off here with Blue, Hal Linden. That is number 7 of 25, Hal Linden Blue Base Autograph. We do have the Pro Set Superstars Autograph, Debbie Gibson here. That looks red. I think other reds we've seen have been numbered to 5 and less, so let's see what the Gibson is numbered to. Number one of three, very cool, Debbie Gibson, one of three. We do have Prop Century Duos Platinum, Lawrence Fishburne in Cuba Gooding Jr. Cuba Gooding Jr., not too sure on that name. That's a name I've never seen before. But Fishburne and Gooding Jr., five of 30. I guess that this one is called Platinum, number to 30. And then, all right, last we have, oh, is it a relic autograph? We've seen one of those before. We have James Kahn here, memorabilia signature. So that is 10 of 40. So we do have relic autograph here, Kahn. All right, number to 40 to wrap things off. So not a cut signature, but I believe James here is the only relic autograph in the product. So that's pretty neat. Signature memorabilia, number 10 of 40. Also had the Prop Century Duos here, five of 30, dual relic. Lowest numbered autograph of the box by far, Debbie Gibson here, one of three. as the Superstars insert autograph. And then Hal Linden Blue. That was number seven of 25. So lots of blue here. Blue color scheme on the Platinum Dual Relic, the signature memorabilia and the Linden. And then some red here with the Debbie Gibson one of three. So very cool to find something so low numbered there. And... This is only our second Relic Auto that we've seen out of the four cases. So that's a neat find here, number 240. But with that, that does wrap off this box here of Leaf Metal Pop Century for Ricky. So again, thank you so much, Ricky, for letting me open up this box for you. Really hope you enjoy the opening and love all of these new additions to your collection. All of you out there watching, whether your name is Ricky or not, I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me, leave those down below. What movie do you think this is from? This is a fun game I like to play with the duos. Like there is a Samuel Jackson and Hugh McGregor duo. I just pretend it's from Star Wars, although they don't say. It'd be cool if they say, but Leaf doesn't probably want to pay that much for the licensing. But what movie would you say this is from? Let me know. And of course, any other comments, feedback, anything at all, go ahead and drop that in the comment section as well. Also, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, I'd love to have you join us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here and into another longer video, we started off with the TCG product and we'll be ending off with a different one. This is the only non-sports that we have this evening. Otherwise, two different TCG openings. Before I get into that next longer video, do have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 13 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soltari, Mark Mardini, Mike Clotis, MT, Sean F, Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. We also do have eight Gem Mint fans. Barco Ver, Dusty Archuleta, Jerry Geek, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, Shin Nafzen, and William Hastings. Thank you so much again to all of our channel members. 
and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But yes, quick fun opening here. I hope you all enjoyed it. That does it for me in this one. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.